they're in a room full of screens and focused. They are not coming out River Road. On a daytime drama. Okay. But the network they're watching is made up of cameras designed to stop crime. OK, that's too far. Today, it's a car chase. So we can get onto our cameras and move the camera to be able to see where this incident's occurring. So then we can communicate directly with the officers that are out in the field to provide them information. The Real Time Crime Center has access to 462 cameras. Each one also records everything it sees. There were somewhere around a half dozen or so cameras recording in the vicinity when Liam Zung Noon was shot and killed on the 6th Street ramp. Police haven't released the video, but are going through each frame of each camera to sift out clues to the case. It does take a while and it can be tedious at times. So that but it's paid off in the past. This assault was caught on cameras in the bank's parking garage. He ends up taking the guy's car. The suspect was caught in the victim's car about a block away. And then this. This car here. Watch a collision in the intersection. The video told police which driver ran the red light. And most recently, cameras recorded the rescue of a woman in the Ohio River. Now investigators are looking for the needle in the video haystack that will solve the shooting on 6th Street. But if you can find that needle, you've helped the case in a tremendous way. Now, officers aren't just looking at what happened at the scene of the shooting. They're looking before, even after, to see if there are any clues in any of it. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5.